After a three-month delay and a lot of uncertainty, health workers today began moving equipment into the emergency hospital set up at the Sir Ignatius Kilage Stadium in Leh. COVID-19 preparations faced a lot of challenges, including disputes over preparedness, disagreements over the Angao CEO's post, and funding delays by the National Department of Health. Yesterday, the new Angao chief executive said by Friday the hospital will be fully operational. By end of this week, that hospital now should be ready. Our people are already trained and ready, so we should get it. Uh, there are some little technical issues, but that's by now things we will sort it out. So we get ourselves there, start using it, and sort the place out as we go along. More than 30 health workers have been trained for the COVID-19 operations. Standard operating procedures have been developed for rural clinics. In Port Moresby, the government announced a 14-day lockdown. The Morabe Provincial Health Authority has requested for flights from Port Moresby to Leh to be barred to prevent any spread of COVID-19. Now, story we are getting in Moresby, yeah, these are not experts, yeah, these are local. So it, it, whatever is happening in Moresby, if it happens for a local, yeah, you probably most likely expect the same story. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to work it out. Angao Hospital has also scaled down its operations, and that's to prevent an influx of patients with minor cases. However, the accidents and emergency section will be open, while all COVID-related illnesses or suspected COVID cases will be referred to the field hospital at the Sir Ignatius Kilage Stadium. Scott Waide, National MTV News, Leigh.